Do you know what day of the week you are most likely to die from a heart attack? Take a guess. I'll give you a second. It's Monday. Care to guess what time? It is between 8 and 9 a.m. Do you know what else happens Monday at 8? That is the same day and time people get ready to go into jobs. They hate. Coincidence? I don't think so. Take a look at this chart. This is the lifespan of the average person. On average, we live about 80 years. If we're lucky, we start working at about 18, and we work, 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 and retire at about 67. Now, what does this tell you? That for better or for worse, the majority of your life will be spent at work. Do not spend that time unhappy. <laughs> like my friend Jay. See, Jay would always say, when I finish school, then I'll be happy. Well, Jay finished school, but he wasn't happy. So then Jay said, when I get a job, then I'll be happy. Jay got a job, but he still wasn't happy. So Jay said, when I get married, settle down and have kids, then I'll be happy. Well, he got married, settled down, had two kids, but still wasn't happy. So then Jay said, okay, when the kids leave home and I retire, then I'll be happy. Well, the kids left home and he retired, but he still wasn't happy. So Jay started going to church. And I asked Jay why he was going to church so much. And he said, because when I die, then I'll be happy. Jay's story, however sad, is not unique. I could have replaced Jay with Johnny or Bonnie. In fact, Jay's initials stand for just about everybody. Many of us are like Jay, but it is not our fault. We have been tricked to stay stuck in jobs that are literally making us sick and to be and then people. <laughs> you know about the and then people, right? It is people who constantly say, and then I'll be happy. Ladies and gentlemen, we must go from living as and thens to becoming right nows. We have to be happy right now. How? We must either find a job we love or bring more love into our jobs. It is time to step out of the rat race. Because the funny thing is, even if you win, make a load of money, hold up the trophy that everybody hails. You're still a furry rodent with a pointy nose and long tail. Wake up. Stop playing with your life. This ain't a video game. This ain't Mario Kart. This ain't Fortnite. There is no try again button, no option to redo this level. When the game's over, game's over. But there is one cheat code to the human console, and that is to take control and to stop buying into the lies society has told, like how overworking is cool and being stressed out is a status symbol. Oh, and I almost forgot the biggest lie. Keep a work-life balance. Now on the surface, you may not see how crazy that sounds, but think about it. Work-life balance? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Shouldn't life come before work because when your life is better, your work is better? But don't take my opinion. Harvard professor Sean Acor recently discovered something fantastic, which he calls the happiness advantage. His studies prove that 75% of job success can be predicted by not how smart you are, not how talented you are, but how happy you are. His research is decisive. He says when you're happy, your intelligence rises, creativity rises, your productivity rises. <laughs> and you know what else is funny? You also make more money. But here's the real kicker. You live longer too. 
I know, it sounds too good to be true, but yes, optimists actually live longer than pessimists, so you could stretch this graph a few extra years if this time here is filled with more joy and cheer. Let me be clear, do not take this message lightly. It is your duty to be happy, for your own sake. I don't care if you're here, at the end, it is never too late to trade in your deadly hood for a livelihood and refuse to suffer during the weekdays. Ironic they call it that, cause you're literally in a week days where you're constantly waiting for the week end. See, I believe so many people die of heart attacks because they are involved in work that their hearts are just not in. I believe people have low vital signs because they are involved in work that is not vital to them. My friends, happiness is a choice, but anyone who says it's easy has lied. It ain't easy, but you have to try. The first step is to look inside and remember the quote that the Buddha wrote 2,000 years ago, which I believe today for most people still applies. The problem is, you think you have time. Stop wasting your life. <laughs>